Hello Libra, my name is Alison and you're with Healing Dove Tarot. We're going to have a look at the energy surrounding you at this uh, Sagittarius full moon. I'm super excited because this full moon is all about releasing and purging of old disappointments, you know, particularly around dreams or wishes, things that have been unfulfilled. Um, at the same time, Mercury enters its home sign of Gemini, um, which is a you know, Gemini is all about the sign of um, communication, intellect, higher understanding. So it's it's a new phase of um, our thoughts and our beliefs and how we're communicating these to others. The best way I can describe it is um, imagine being able to look at things that once caused us grief or strife, now only being able to see the potentials and the opportunities. It's like a, oh, okay, I know why that didn't happen because I see the new adventure that's being outlaid or I know why I didn't make that connection with that person because... Then I stumbled across, you know, this person at the coffee shop. Um, watch out for people at coffee shops. That could be something for you. Um, but let's have a look at the energy surrounding you in particular. Thank you, universe. Thank you, angels. Please show me the messages for the sign of Libra under the Sagittarius full moon. Just give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Libra. Temptation. You have the card of... Um, the devil, Capricorn. Please show me the energies. Beautiful. Uh, King of Earth and Ten of Cups. So again, um, Earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Ten of Cups is my um, emotional abundance and happiness. So there could be, again, a Capricorn that's quite prominent around you. A Virgo or Taurus, and you're feeling very connected to this person. Please show me what are the additional messages for the sign of Libra. Yeah, wow. Okay. And one more for the outcome. You've got two tens here in your spread, so definitely about cycles ending and new ones beginning. Beautiful reading. Yay. Okay, so. At the bottom of the deck, you do have transformation, which is the sign of death or rebirth, Sagittarius. Um, it is in the reverse, okay? So what that means for me is it's like uh, you have this rebirth, it's here, and you're blocking it for whatever reason. I don't know, maybe it's fear. Maybe you're a little bit scared about starting something new. Um, but the invitation here is to start that something new because I see a lot of positivity around you, okay? You have, as I mentioned before, um, the death card. Um, sorry, not the death card. The um, card of the devil, um, which is represented by the sign of Capricorn. And it is in the reverse. So um, I love the depiction here because it's it's worded temptation. Um, the devil card can often speak. It's like a the shadow side of the lovers, right? So it speaks about things that tempt you and, you know, it's depicted here about the apple and someone taking a bite out of the apple, the biblical term, the gold chest here. Um, it's in the reverse. So as I mentioned, you could be dealing with a Capricorn and you're feeling like you're not really connecting with them or they're not connecting with you. Or it could just be that you are, you have had addictions or thing in the past. You know, this, this card can spell for me things like um, drinking to excess, um, drug use, um, gambling anything that's kind of in excess like that and it's in the reverse which is great because that kind of feels to me like you're coming out of that phase okay libra um you have the ten of earth coupled with the ten of water so a ten of earth is as i mentioned before uh taurus virgo capricorn um and this is male or female so again this could be someone that's prominent in your life but showing you the stability that's coming up when it comes to emotions um, of the heart, right? So it could very well be if it is addictions that have been plaguing you and you've finally gotten hold of that and you've let that go, um, that you're drawing more abundance into your life. The Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups is literally my card of like a joy, um, contentment, feeling elated. It's like, look at how happy this Buddha is, right? You just want to rub his dummy. He looks so content. Um, but coupled with the King of Earth, this is all about being very grounded, um, being very practical, 
it's a nice balance, earth and water. So it's almost like as if you're letting go of these addictions that have held on to you for so long and you're now finally starting to find you again and find that balance and that harmony. Okay. Um, in your past, you have the star coupled with the ten of air. So the ten of air is the ten of swords. And it's um, the card about like in traditional tarot, it shows a guy that's face down. He's got ten swords in his back, but it's reversed for you. So it's like you've been through that hurt. Someone has hurt you and you've let it all go. Those swords are coming out. In this deck, it's depicted as feathers. So it's a much more light, floaty energy. Um, and it's showing that you're releasing all of your attachment to these things, which is exactly what I said this full moon is inviting you to do. Coupled with a star, which could mean the sign of Aquarius is quite prominent to you. Um, someone in Aquarius could be around you. Um, but the star depicts about healing energy. So it's like you're healing yourself. You're, you're finally letting go of all of these things. And this feels really deep to me with the card of transformation and the card of temptation. This is some heavy energy, Libra. You are coming out of some big stuff and, and you're finally being able to release it and let it go and seeing it for what it was. And, you know, even under your card of temptation, you have the card of strength. So, you know, hats off to you, whatever it is that you've been through and you've been through hell, um, you've been able to pull yourself out of it and you're starting to finally heal. Okay. And in doing that, it's going to draw back to you this emotional contentment and fulfillment. And this is in love, in relationships. It's like you're going to, in healing yourself and letting go of the past and all those things and remaining positive, you're going to start to draw back more light, more loving relationships, either with an air sign, an Aquarius, uh, a Gemini, or a fellow Libra, or an earth sign. Okay. And then you leave this period with just a great card. It's like you let go of all this shit and then you leave with the six of fire. So the six of wands is like, it's my victory card. It's like, I've finally gotten on top of whatever this is that's been holding my back. In traditional tarot, it shows someone that's kind of um, riding on horseback with like um, six wands, victory. Someone's, it's like a welcoming home parade after war, okay? And in this card, it's showing this really um, floaty kind of um, imagery. It's like, there's a boat that's floating in the air by hot air balloons. It's like that the possibilities are endless here for you, Libra. And I, I really want you to try and see if you can purge your energy, let go of whatever it is that's been holding you back. These addictions, these temptations, these things that are holding on to you. you you've already started that process. Okay. These negative thought beliefs or patterns, it could be tangible. It could be gambling, drinking, drugs, whatever, however it plays out to you. You don't want to be in that space anymore. And it's time to let go. Don't give yourself a hard time. Okay. You know, everyone goes through these challenges. The invitation is to go, okay, I went through that so I could transform myself into a better version of me. And now I can start to attract all the love and the abundance and the happiness that I desire. Okay. And it's coming for you. Like, look at this. That's beautiful. That's success, it's reward, it's abundance, and this is emotional happiness. It's like finally finding that person that you can't stop thinking about, that you just want to snuggle up to and cuddle up to, and it's just, it's really beautiful energy for you, Libra. Okay, so let's draw for you an additional guidance card. I'm so excited for you. You've been through a lot, so I'm happy that this energy is coming through for you. Wow, that came out pretty fast. Um, and this is the card of preservation. Okay, there's a lot of symbolism in this card, so that's why I'm holding it up for you to have a look at. Um, and didn't I talk about Scorpio death and transformation, right? And it's like this birth of a new, it's like leaving the old behind, leaving behind all these addictions, leaving behind all these old disappointments, these dreams, these wishes that weren't fulfilled with certain people, with jobs, with whatever it is. It's don't hold on to it anymore, okay? Because you're no longer that person. Even if it was something that was good and it's no longer, let go because you're blocking yourself from this beautiful new beginning, this beautiful new beginning. Okay. I'm going to read for you from the book like I always do. Preservation. Where are you? There it is. Ready? A dream is dormant, not lost. The resistance to accept something positive. <laughs> 
<laughs> what did I say? A slow awakening to love. It is okay to take your time. Emotional barriers. Self-preservation may have become self-sabotage. Rejecting opportunity due to fear or anxiety. The dismissal of kindness or a doubt over someone's intention is unwarranted. And then it goes on to say, um, peace is surrendering. Love is vulnerable. Allow yourself to trust and believe that love is here for you because it is Libra. Okay. You are safe, protected and loved by the divine. Let love water the seeds of joy, creativity and contentment that lie within you. Accept the blessings of this world into your heart so your true self can blossom. Beautiful reading for you there. I hope you found it helpful. If you have, please let me know, um, share with me, especially for those of you that have been going through addiction or some kind of trauma um, and that are now transforming. I'm so proud of you um, and I can see that it's going to bring you beautiful rewards. You've healed. It's it's your time. Still got a bit of way to go, but you're getting there. Okay. Um, love to hear your thoughts as always. As I said, please comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you at the love readings. Thanks. Take care.